train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about rest in between sets. Now somebody just asked me, they said, what is the perfect rest period for hypertrophy? Now again, there is no exact answer on this because when you're a bodybuilder, you wanna hit all the muscle fibers. You just don't wanna hit just one type of muscle fiber and say just all across the board, there's just a standard rest that you'll always stick to. Although there may be some general tendencies. Okay, so I'll give you the general tendency right away. In bodybuilding, you don't want your breath to become the weak link, okay? If your breath is the weak link, if your cardio system is the weak link, that means you are energy deficient. You don't have enough energy to push the muscle as hard as it can possibly be pushed, okay? But if you're doing cardiovascular training, this is kind of what you're after. You want to basically deplete the energy levels and you want to push the cardiovascular system to produce energy and all that kind of stuff. So it's a totally different avenue, right? That's cardiovascular training. So if your breath is the weak link, that means you're resting too short. Now, if you want to do this for short periods of time, that can be a technique to accentuate your bodybuilding gains because what you're trying to do is push your cardiovascular potential so that way you are more efficient at recovery. You'll be able to recover at a faster rate when you start to do the heavier weights. Okay, so instead of resting two and a half minutes, you might be able to get away with only resting two minutes because your cardiovascular system and everything is functioning better so you are able to recover at a faster rate. But as far as hypertrophy gains and rest in between sets, I've messed around with different rest ranges. I've rested between 30 seconds to five minutes in between sets. And I found that there are benefits to all of it, the different ranges, okay? Just the thing is when you're using heavier weights and you want to really make sure that your muscle tissue is the weak link and not your energy source, you want to rest at least a minute and a half to two and a half minutes, I'd say, for your sets that you're using heavier weight because you don't want to be uh, deficient in energy and deficient in coordination. You know, when you're absolutely exhausted, it's gonna be very hard for you to hold your center or to hold your groove safely when you're squatting, right? So I would not recommend doing 30 second rest with squats or deadlifts or anything where the movement can be dangerous if you have a momentary lapse or hit failure all of a sudden, just like that. So that's one thing, if you rest too short in between sets, it can be dangerous if you need all of your muscles to be functioning and firing properly, okay? Because you, you wanna hit fatigue, but you don't wanna hit fatigue where it's dangerous, okay? Such as a bar on your neck, you don't wanna hit fatigue at that point. I know you can get a spot in some cases and stuff, but sometimes failure happens too fast and the spot won't help you, especially in the case of squats where all of a sudden your back blows out or something. So that's, that's just the disclaimer here, okay? But the fact is when you're resting a shorter time period in between sets, you're gonna be using more of the slow twitch endurance fibers. The fast twitch fibers are governed more by the ATP and the creatine phosphate energy sources and it takes about a, a minute to three minutes to replenish that creatine phosphate cycle so that way your ATP is there and you can actually fire the fast twitch fibers properly. Now if you're not resting long enough what will happen is your body will try to get energy from other sources which is why shorter rest in between sets and circuit training can be good for fat loss reasons because your body will be trying to find that energy from an alternate fuel source because it hasn't been able to replenish the creatine as fast. Okay so that's why uh, short rest periods in between sets and circuit training can actually be a very productive fat loss type of technique, but it's not necessarily as good for hitting the fast twitch fibers, okay? But if you wanna have a high rep workout, a high rep workout, sometimes having short rest in between sets, that's the ideal time to do that. Because your high reps, you're already hitting endurance fibers anyway. You don't need as much ATP and creatine in that case, and this might be a way of increasing the intensity on certain muscle fibers that you just don't get when the creatine is active. Because once your muscles are replenished with creatine, then that means some of your fast twitch fibers are actually going to be assisting in the pushing. But if they're drained of that energy, then your slow twitch fibers are gonna to have to jump on board. And that may be a way of increasing the intensity on some of those slow twitch fibers. So some of you guys that are slow twitch fiber dominant, you might get increases in gains in some cases. As long as your cardio is not the weak link, I would say it's a valid technique and it should be incorporated in your system. So I say vary the rest in between sets. You don't always just stick to one rest period, vary the rest. But if you're working on more strength and you're working more on pyramiding up in weight or doing the five by five and stuff, you're working those fast switch fibers. So in that case, you do need more rest in between sets. 
doing 30 seconds rest would not only be dangerous, but it would actually be counterproductive because you just wouldn't be replenished enough to be able to lift the weight again for another five reps. I hope this helps you uh, understand a little bit about rest in between sets. The different rest periods will dictate what type of muscle fibers you'll be hitting and what energy source you'll be hitting. And sometimes just burning energy for the sake of burning energy is not necessarily the goal of a bodybuilder. What you wanna do is break down certain muscle fibers and instead of actually just doing that from a cardio point of view, sometimes you want to rest longer so that way you can hit those power fibers, those fast twitch fibers, because they're much bigger around and much thicker. So they basically respond more to a little bit more rest and to heavier weights, okay? And like I've said in all my videos is that you wanna do a certain amount of heavy weight as well as the reps, right? So uh, vary up with your high rep days, you can vary up the rest. Sometimes you can use the two minutes rest and two and a half minutes rest or three minutes rest or whatever you want. And then other times you can go back down to one minute or one and a half minutes and you will notice that there's a different type of burn and different type of experience. So you will be hitting different muscle fibers. But all rest ranges are actually valid if you want to hit all the different fiber ranges. But you just don't want to stick in one. Like I've seen some people that have come to me and said, I don't know why I'm not putting on mass. I don't know why I'm not putting on strength. I'm only resting 30 seconds in between sets and I'm running from one exercise to the next. I don't know why I'm not putting on strength. Well, the reason why they're not putting on strength is because they're always working their cardiovascular system. You know, they're, they're working more in the energy production point of view, but they're not necessarily working the fast twitch fibers ever because the fast twitch fibers never get a chance to get replenished and the nervous system doesn't get a chance to reset as well to push that extra heavy weight. Okay, so you wanna do all of it. You wanna have this balancing act of, of incorporating all these different fibers and that will achieve overall growth. Now, another way you wanna do uh, 30 second rest is also sometimes when you're only doing 30 second rest, it's almost like one set that you take to supreme failure. So it's another way of looking at it. You're taking a, an endurance type workout, right? And with lighter weight, it's a little bit safer if you fail with the weight. So say I'm just doing bench presses 185 and I'm gonna set a 55 reps or 60 reps or something like that. And then I only take 30 seconds rest. Then the next set, I can only get like 30 or 40 reps or 25 or whatever. And then I go to, down the line like that, every just 30 seconds rest in between sets. It's almost like I'm extending a set for a long period of time because I'm just taking a short rest and now it's really intense. That, that burn is really intense on some muscle fibers. So that can shock your muscles into growth and it can actually shock the system with uh, massive amounts of blood flow to the area. And that can help your body with overall growth, right? So this is a technique that some people incorporate from time to time. So it's valid. That's all I'm here to say is that these different rest periods are actually valid because they will hit your body in different ranges. They will hit your fibers in different ways okay then just the standard uh, time between sets okay I hope this helps you understand how to use rest in between sets in your training program and thanks a lot for watching and make sure you check out my website if you get a chance naturallinebodybuilding.com and take care for now